Okay, so wind engineering sounds pretty tough, right? It is. You're talking about trying to build buildings that will sustain damage during a hurricane. Well, that's pretty tough, too, especially in areas that are prone to hurricanes like Miami. I went down to Miami last week to attend the FIU Wall of Wind Challenge. The Florida International University hosts these high school students from all around the Miami area, and their goal? Wind mitigation. Take a look at it. You confident? Yeah. yeah. We're pretty confident. This is really nerve-wracking. We're going to take home first place. Nine teams from high schools in the Miami area are about to come up against the Wall of Wind. This year's challenge had to do with what can we do to protect a beachfront property like at Miami Beach. The students have worked for weeks designing and building. It never uh, ceases to amaze me how these high schools using creativity and ingenuity to come up with different walls. The whole reason behind this event was to really teach um, us about the importance of wind mitigation, especially in the southern states of Florida where we receive hurricanes on a semi-regular basis. The hope is to inspire these next generation scientists and engineers to one day come up with life-saving protection from a major storm. And that's where I came in to judge the science behind these projects. But then it was on to the real test. That wall called WOW. It's 12 huge fans able to create Category 5 winds more than 157 miles an hour. In this case, the winds were not quite so high, just enough to test those walls. I mean, the first three rows are protected very nicely. Yeah, we didn't do too bad. No, no. And the winner. Florida Christian. This is like the first all-girls team that has ever won the Wall of Wind Challenge. How do you feel about that? I think that a lot of people like kind of got like overcomplicated on it and we kind of just thought simple and I don't know, I guess that works for us. Okay, so how cool is this, Reynolds? Not only is it the first time ever that, and I know you have three little girls, right? Go. And you want them to be these smart, powerful women. Well, not only was it the first time ever that we had an all-girls team compete, all-girls team won. And they're not from an all-girls school. They're from mm -hmm. a co-ed school, you know, uh, but they, it was just all the girls on the engineering team. Love seeing the girl power. Absolutely adore seeing that. What a great story. Girl Thanks so much power. for sharing. Thanks it so much for so sharing cool. that.